Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK, Flight Sim World, Epic Approach. Uh, nope, wrong, missions, there we go. Epic Approach missions. I'll do that one some other time. That irritated me. Let's go Queenstown, a relatively serene approach amongst some beautiful scenery. Make a safe landing into runway 05 at Queensland in the PA-46. This should be easy enough. Um, remember to put the gear down. Okay, gear down, not working. All of my buttons appear to have changed. We're going to need to put the gear down if we're to land this thing. Okay? Yes. Then it's gear down as and when you please. Okay. So why is my key binding for gear down? <laughs> Moving the camera outside. You stupid game. Bravo uniform, clear to land, straight in, runway 05. Clear to land, runway 05, Zulu Bravo uniform. Look at that speed down. Okay, we are cleared for a simple straight in approach and landing. Could you read out the landing checklist? I sure can. Seats upright. Check. Seatbelts fastened. Check. Landing lights set to on. What is that? Did you turn on the landing lights? Uh, no. Where are the landing lights? I don't know where they are. Thanks landing ever so much. On. Thank you. Um, uh, check. Altimeter set. Uh, set. Radio frequencies. Approach is one two five decimal seven five zero, and I can <clears> see that set. Confirmed. One two five decimal seven five zero. Prop RPM is required. Flaps if required. Cabin pressure depressurized. Okay, then it's gear down as and when you please. Gear down. Lowering gear. Lowering flaps. Pre-landing checklist complete. Thanks. Now, let's put her on the ground. A bit low. I'm going to increase engine quite a tad here. We're very low, actually. Very low. A bit slow to respond, this aircraft. We should be coming back onto the glide slope any moment now. Yeah, I'd rather come in a little bit high than low. So I think we're going to be just fine. I'm not lining this up very well. It's a skill I haven't really mastered hitting the centre of the runway, I have to admit. Power off. Looking to flare. Flare. Nice safe landing. Okay. Piper Zulu Bravo uniform, please vacate to the right when able. Copy that. Flaps up. Move to the brakes. <clears throat> That's quite a tight turn. If I go on the grass, don't fail me, will you? Great flight. Always a pleasure to assist you wherever we are in the world. Well, thank you very much. Okay, completed. That was actually quite fun. Um, I far, far prefer this aircraft to the DA-40 in terms of flight mechanics. Let's try again. Always check your instruments. Fuel becomes critical as you follow the direction of the Kawaru River to the west to land on runway 23 Queenstown Airport. 
Okay guys, so I've downloaded the PA46 PDF pilot's manual. I've read what to do in the event of a power off landing. Now, <clears throat> initial thing to do is trim out to 90. Um, and that should, at that speed, that's the best glide speed. That should allow us to travel two miles for every thousand feet we drop. Now, at the point of the engine cutting out, we're 10,000 miles out. So we need to be over 5,000 feet in order to have any chance of actually coming in and landing on this runway. So wish me luck, guys. Here we go. First thing that's going to happen is, because it's not trimmed properly, we're going to lose 500 feet. So I'm going to climb up to 5,500 feet as quick as I can. And then we'll try this one last time. Zulu Bravo Uniform, you are cleared to land runway 23. Cleared to land runway 23, Zulu Bravo Uniform. Normal procedure means we'd follow the river around to the west. It'll take us to Queenstown. Copy that. 4,500 feet. And climbing. Maximum throttle. Get some lights on. never works first time which is so odd 5,000 feet I can see our uh, directive marker 5,500 feet. That can't be right. That's odd. We had more than enough fuel last time I checked. It has to be a faulty sensor. Queenstown approach. Piper Zulu Bravo uniform. Possible fuel issue. Can we make a straight in approach to land runway 23? Piper Zulu Bravo uniform. Runway is clear and at this time no other traffic in the circuit. You are showing us 10 miles from the airport. Can you elaborate on the fuel problem? Are you running low? Pan Pan, Zulu yes. Bravo uniform is a PA-46, current altitude 2,000 feet, fuel reading abnormally low. We are this not 2,000 feet. sure if it's a sensor error. Five souls on board, commercial flight. We require an immediate straight-in approach. Right. Zulu Bravo uniform, emergency services have been notified. Maintain your altitude on the approach to Queenstown. You are cleared for a straight into runway 23. I say again, runway 23. We have one aircraft just departing to the south. All others are on the ground and holding. Fuel starvation. Looks like we're going to be gliding in. Thank you so much. Right, now, uh, again, uh, the manual says I should bring the throttle back to zero, but I can't stand listening to that noise, and it doesn't seem to make any difference at all. So we'll not worry about that too much. I'm trimming out right now to 90 as quickly as I can. No flaps, because that will reduce the amount of ground distance you cover. And uh, trimmed out at 90 knots, indicated airspeed should, uh, at 1,000 feet per minute, allow us to travel 2 miles for every 1,000 feet we drop. And we're at 5,000 feet now, 10 miles out. So, this is about as close as we're going to get to this working. So there's nothing more I can do now. We're pretty much trimmed. My hand is off the uh, yoke. Uh, little, tiny little bit more trimming required, but we're pretty much there. We are dropping at about 800 feet per minute, um, which is okay. We are pretty much on 90 right now, trimming out at 600 feet per minute. That's pretty good. At this altitude, we should, according to the manual, make it to the runway. But this is not real world, this is flight sim world. So, uh, yeah. We shall see. But this is my last attempt at this. I'm really, really sick and tired of it. Really sick and tired of it. 
And just in case um, this is, I only use this one and I don't use all the videos that I've recorded. I won't use all of them anyway, but I might go for two. Um, the the pilot speech is a single script that they've reused for all of the um, approaches, all of the missions. And I think people in the workshop are, are doing this kind of stuff for free. Um, and Dovetail Games are charging £10 for this. And it's just... The attention to detail is pathetic. It's embarrassing. I would... If I was working at Dovetail Games, I think I'd pull myself out. I wouldn't want to be associated with this... With the DLC like this. This is ridiculous. We have a lot of hype right now. I'm excited for reaching the runway for the first time ever. I say that, it's still quite a, quite a long way off. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, at best, it's going to be bloody tight. Now, I get the impression that we're dropping more than we're moving forwards. Hopefully that's just an optical illusion and we'll, we'll make it to the runway for the first time ever, but... Certainly, we're above the glide slope right now, which normally, when I get to this point, we are already dropping below it. So that is a good sign in itself. Dropping the flaps is something you don't do till the very last minute. You try and land round about 77 knots, according to the manual. So, um... I wouldn't say quietly confident, but just quiet. Definitely, this is the best approach I've had so far, so fingers crossed. It, it does irritate me that none of the information you need in order to make this flight uh, even possible is available within the, um, the description, um, the briefing. They don't bother mentioning it at all. I can see an aircraft flashing over there. Which is weird. Okay, we're still above the glide slope, which is... When you've got no fuel and you're coming into land, that's where you want to be. You don't ever want to be below it, but above it is a good place to be. Okay, quick check and prep for landing. Checklist, please. Now this is where it could all go wrong. I sure can. Seats upright. Check. Seat belts fastened. Check. Landing lights set to on. Check. Mm, uh, check. Altimeter set. Uh, set. Prop RPM is required. Flat is required. Cabin pressure depressurized. Okay, then it's gear down as and when you please. As and when I please. Now, it's important that you pay attention to her saying that because if I don't put it down soon they'll fail the mission for me um remember to put the gear down and obviously when I put the gear down it's like having a, a whole set of flaps suddenly Lowering drop on gear. the aircraft so we're now Free way below 90 oh, come on we can make it this is way, way tougher. This, this is a good point. Um, it is really tough, but look how slow we're traveling now. And we are dropping off the glide slope. Oh, that was probably me leaning too far over to the left, trying to get the aircraft to listen to me. I think we're going to come short. We are going to come short. We're at 80. 
If I put the flaps down now, we're just going to drop out the sky. Flaps. We do not have the height to get there. Or the speed. Stall speed is 60, and we are epically close to that now. Watch out! I'm on the runway, and you failed me! I'm on the runway and you failed me! Unbelievable. 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 Plus, you took the controls out of my hands at the very, very vital moment of landing the aircraft. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not too pleased with that. That is very tricky, um, but it's bugged beyond belief. And that's what makes it so tricky, is that it is bugged and it doesn't behave the way it should do and it's most irritating. Anyway guys, uh, guys, gays, guys, um, I've, I'm going to upload this video as it is because, I mean, that's so epic. You know, this is a, an epic moment of trying to get this aircraft on the ground. And you can see in the final picture there, I am on the bloody runway. So why have they failed me at that? Ridiculous. I can't show you level three today because I need to uh, fight my way through flights in world in order to get this to land. So uh, I'll do it and uh, I'll put it up as soon as I can. But uh, until then, take care. Till next time. Goodbye. <laughs>